Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley. And this is a TS Tech Talks video. On my previous video, guys, I showed you guys how to um, use the inbuilt camera to record your screen on your Samsung device. But on today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how to use um, the DU recorder to record your screen while um, when you want to record any activities going on on your device so probably you are trying to make a video tutorial and you want to record your screen on your du recorder all you need to do is to install the du recorder application this is the du recorder right there um, i'm going to leave a link where you can get this application actually you can find it on the play store is no longer on play store but you can easily find it on google making use of the google search and then um, downloading it right from other apk store but you can get it on play store for some reason so once you have the device just click on the application to open it if you already have it installed and it's going to display all of this information just double click and then it displays everything now on this area it shows all the previous recording we have and you notice the first one right there is actually the default recording that comes with the um, application if you click on it you'll be able to see some user guide that will guide you on how to use the application but I am currently um, it's currently not displaying the information it should be able to show you the pop-up of the video on how to make use of the application but it didn't display right now so let me go ahead and navigate and close it all right, this particular video is actually a video that I recorded previously. So every video you've recorded with the application is all going to display on this area. And then um, if you want to make use of some other settings, if you click on this area, you can see the picture you took or the screenshots you took making use of the DU recorder. If you click on this area, you'll be able to make use of the video editing option. It actually have a video editing option. I'm going to show you guys all of those later on. And then on this area, this is actually the setting. On default, the video is supposed to be set on, on 1080p per pixel. And then if you want to reduce it, you can go ahead and reduce the resolution of the video to 70. But on default, I think it's best to use 1080 dp because it, it makes your camera quality or the um, screen quality very sharp. And also, you can go ahead and increase the video resolution. You can leave it on auto so that it will automatically recommend the default one for you. And if for some reason you want to choose, you can go ahead and choose 12 mbps which is actually what came with the application now let me go ahead and close that out now if also you want to um edit or choose an option for your ftcp there is the option to choose uh, most people like to use 30 frame per, se per seconds and some people like to use um 60 frame per seconds fps actually means frame per second so which depending on whichever one you want to choose go ahead and choose it and um, any of them and then on default is actually selected to um, only record your microphone and if you want to choose only the internal audio you can go ahead and choose that and if you want to record both internal and microphone both microphone and internal audio you can go ahead and select that option right there and it will record both your microphone and also the internal audio and then that is that for the audio there are several options and settings that you can do right there and just take your time to go through it and then i'm going to go right down to the most interesting part of this area which is actually the watermark now for some reason if you want to have a watermark on your video you notice is actually said enable right now if you click on this stuff you can go ahead and disable that if you want to but if you want to leave it enabled just leave that enabled and you can actually edit the watermark there is an option for you to edit the watermark um leave it on and then there is an option to edit the watermark it should be somewhere around there except it has been removed personalized watermark this is it so you notice where it says personalized watermark click on it and you notice it says um drag to the option so um depending on what you want to write on the watermark i'm going to click on test and now i'm going to say ts tech talk so once i save this up when i'm recording the video uh, go ahead and choose the test color you notice right there it should be displaying I'm going to say black. You notice that? Okay. So um, this is it. Um, what um, watermark? 
if you want to choose a logo click on this image and then choose a particular image and then you notice the image is there so you can go ahead and increase the size or reduce it if you want to uh, once you're done just click on ok so i have two things right there it displays um my name on the te the test and the logo so if you want you can go ahead and drag this to wherever you want it anyway that's the preview if you want to delete it go ahead and click on this delete now if you are done go ahead and back out that is actually the interesting thing i want to show you guys and now let's start recording so now i'm trying to test it out so that you guys will see that it actually works very well click ok and then click on start recording right now our recording is going to start and the recording just started right now so this is the recording right there you can move it around to any location you want it to i don't know if you can see clearly you can move this around to any location you want to so once you're done recording just click on that and then you notice where it says pause if for some reason you want to pause you can go ahead and pause the video pause the video and then you can always go ahead and click on play when you want to continue recording. And then if you are done with the recording, just click on this top icon right there. You notice this top icon right there, the one in the middle. Go ahead and tap on it. Once I tap on it, I just stopped the recording. Now, in order for us to test this recording, we have to go to the gallery area and now click on the recording. It should display. There should be a folder where it has the recording. This is it and i'm going to click play so you guys notice the logo right there this is the logo and you should see um the ts tech should supposed to display on the left hand area but for some reason it was replaced with um du recorder i think there was an error right there usually um it says uh, actually the ts tech is displaying on top and then du recorder here and then the logo here for some reason it usually doesn't display that way but then i don't know why it um probably because they had made a lot of changes recording just started right now so this is the they made a lot of changes to their changes to their application and it's not working perfectly the ts tech talk displays on top the um logo displays below here which is not too bad but at the same time um i do not want the du recorder to display so um all you need to do we have to go back to the settings area once more um you notice that settings icon go ahead and click on that and you notice it says watermark right now if i disable this the watermark is no longer going to show when i start recording let me go ahead and back out back out even more click on the recording and then the recording should start so the recording started and now i want to stop the recording so i just stopped the recording click on play so the recording started uh, now you notice the du recorder is no longer displaying right there but the ts tech talk, ts tech talk is right there and also the logo is right here then it's working perfectly well so this is just how to set up your watermark while recording on the screen. Now, do you recorder also have some interesting features that you might want to try out? So if you want to use the editing option of the DU recorder, all you need to do is to click on this icon, click on this area, which is this particular option right there, the, um, the second one in the middle click on that is going to display this area for you now if this area displays all you need to do for the video you want to edit either you click on this three dotted icon and then click on edit then it will give you an option to start editing but apart from that you can always choose um it has you can always choose this option and now you notice where it says video editing right there are different options right here you can edit video you can merge um video and images you can compress your video you can convert video to give you can um do a transfer with your wifi to a different um a different do you um do you recorder also and also you can edit your photo and switch your photo but for our own case we would just want to edit the video so we just have to tap on this click on the video and then click on edit and now you notice the edit displays so there are several options below this area you can change voice you can reverse you can um add frame you can filter you can pipe you can use the um change the canvas 
split video and a lot of that option you can just come here and check it out so whenever you are done editing you just click on save and it will be saved up for you all right guys but before we round up this video i want to show you guys some interesting thing also on this du recorder now du recorder also have a voice changer the voice changer actually allows you to use a different person's voice for instance i'm recording this video right now and my voice you can hear it properly but for some reason you want to use a different voice you want to listen to a robot voice or so du recorder also have that particular option so with du recorder you can use a different voice it should be on the settings and then let me scroll down to where it has voice changer there you go this is the voice changer if you can see it clearly there you go that particular option when you choose this option although it doesn't have so many of them it just have different um you notice this other one is a young lady this is a young lady this is an uncle this is a fat guy this is a naughty kid this is a um a robot does a um a bad code this is ethical all of these voice actually have different option you can go ahead and click on this option to try it out now if you click on this option and then just tap and hold and then start recording once you tap and hold it start recording you notice the recording is moving right let me switch the phone like this so the recording is um the audio is actually recording the voice so i'm going to once i release it will be recorded now i just release there you go so i have to switch to this now listen to the robot voice and then listen to the bad guy's voice. And then start recording. Once you tap and hold, you start recording. You notice the recording is moving, right? Let so the now let's see the uncle's voice. And then start recording. Once you tap and hold, you start recording. You notice the recording. And now let's see. And then start recording. Once you tap and hold, you start recording. So you can also do more by customizing the voice. Now you notice where he has pitch, right? Increase it. So that is all you can do with the D recorder voice changer. Record your voice, save it up. Um, actually, I didn't click on the save. The save was actually above. Let me click on it once more. The save is right there on the top area. So once you record any voice and you want to save it up, just click on that save and it will save up the voice. So after it saved up the voice, all you need to do then is just go to your video editing add up the audio and then save it up and your video will be done so actually i made this my second best video recording um because you can't find it on play store but actually this is my best video recording apart from the inbuilt um the inbuilt recorder that is already on the device then apart from that i love this particular du recorder so much because it has a lot of feature that can just turn your can just turn your recording into a fun place so guys you don't need to pay for this particular software it's actually free but um if you guys appreciate you can go ahead and purchase the paid one once it's released but right now the recorder have not uploaded yet you can only see it on other play store without getting it from the google play store all right guys thank you for watching this video if it's helpful smash that like button and subscribe to the channel i'm going to see you on my next video peace